what Trent Williams said after the game. That was that stole the headlines because he really came out in support of Brock Purdy. And it was I, I haven't heard anyone associated with Brock speak that strongly for him. And essentially what Trent Williams said is, uh, I'm tired of people downplaying what he does. He's not a system quarterback. Put on the film. If you know what you're looking at, you'll see, I don't know, he didn't use the word elite, but you'll see a really good quarterback. And if you don't see that, if all you see is a system quarterback, you don't know ball. And he said, well, first of all, he also said that Brock doesn't get enough credit. The Niners are kind of obsessed with credit. I want to talk about credit first. Sure, obviously Brock Purdy isn't a system quarterback. He's way past that. He's an MVP kid. This whole this whole thing about the Niners wanting more credit. I mean, I get it, right? We all want credit, but is that what they need? To me, it's like, hey, go go win the Super Bowl. Then we'll give you credit. What do you, what do you think about their need and, and uh, desire for um, confirmation? Well, I just I think he's pushing back on this dialogue that you know that diminishes Brock in any way. And what he's really saying is this guy's so damn accurate that he throws it to a spot. And his receivers make plays for him. Uh, you, you know, he said he's just so accurate. You watch a lot of his throws. The accuracy gives them a chance to run after the catch, and I don't think he gets enough credit for that. Um, so, I mean, you know, we we've seen it. I mean, the the Niners have great run after the catch weapons, and when you do that, a lot of times people say, "Well, you throw it." I mean, you've heard it. You throw it short, and the guy goes eighty-eight yards. But in reality, um. You know, the guy's throwing it to a spot and he's oftentimes throwing it blindly to a spot and he's hitting his spot on a regular basis. He's throwing it into tight windows and he's, you know, make he's throwing the 50 50 ball grant. He's throwing it sometimes into tight windows and he's putting it right on his receiver's hands consistently. And when you watch it once, it looks accidental. And when you watch it every day, it's 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 high level accuracy. And I think we're all confusing or some people that are that are saying that he's a system guy are confusing high level accuracy that results in yards after the catch for his receivers as, oh, he's a product of the system. And, th- and yet that being said, Grant, everybody is a product of the offense they're in. Everybody was a product of his system. No doubt. I mean, Joe Montana yeah. freely admits that Jerry Rice um, had, you know, did wonders for his late career. So, I mean, yeah. your weapons definitely help you. Um, there's no question about that. Look, I agree with Trent. And I, I mean, I've come around on Brock Purdy. He is a legit MVP candidate. He could win the award. Um, what I take issue with is the way Trent Williams phrased it. And it's not that I have a problem with what he said. I think it was, I think it revealed something about the Niners motivation. He said it was a big win, another one, and Trent said Brock doesn't get enough credit. I mean, who cares? First of all, he's going to win the MVP award, so that's debatable. But second of all, who cares what the media says about your quarterback or you guys at week 14? Only thing that matters for you guys is winning the Super Bowl. Credit? You could get all the credit in the world. If you don't win the Super Bowl, you guys don't have any place in football history. I don't like this whole idea of credit. I feel like they've been on the hunt for credit since 2019, and they get it. Everyone says they're the best team in football. Everyone agrees they are the best team in football, but it doesn't matter unless they get the hardware. Right now, they're just they're just the best team on credit, and I wish they would stop that mentality. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I, I do. I mean, it, it's like, hey, you're winning, and that's all that should matter. But I, you know, yeah. you know, you know the old saying, Grant, that he's teams, like in the meta conversation. He's like talking to Nick Wright or me or you, right? Well, I, you know what I think it is is I, I really believe this too. I think that, um, oftentimes teams take on the characteristics of their leaders, and I think there is a part of Brock Purdy, and I think Brock has become one of the leaders on that team as the quarterback, and I just think that. Brock plays with a massive chip on his shoulder. And I think that, that, that some of that's rubbing off on, on guys like Trent, Trent Williams that, you know what, he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. We're not being respected. It's the oldest, it's the oldest uh, thing in sports. They don't respect us. 
whatever motivates you. You know what? The pro athletes, you know it, and I know it. We've both been around it long enough to know. The seasons are long. It's hard to find motivation. And sometimes if they can find motivation by using a Grant Cohn, a Larry Kruger, a media, or just, you know, in general, you know what? My quarterback's not getting respect. He ain't a system quarterback. They'll use whatever they can use. It's a long year. That's what yeah, I think. It's fine. I get it. Um, it just feels like the Niners should be past that. Fourth oldest team in the league. You've been on the doorstep of a championship since before the pandemic. Man, don't talk to me about credit. Everyone calls you guys the best roster in the league. Everyone calls you guys a juggernaut. You got credit. Brock's going to win the MVP. He's got credit. Now win the Super Bowl because credit doesn't matter. Credit is only uh, matters on television, on YouTube. And if you're concerned about credit, you're concerned about the wrong thing. This team should have been a Super Bowl winner by now. And in what's the main reason they haven't it, been? They haven't it's got, it's they haven't ridiculous. Got, they haven't won a championship by now. This team is way too good. And the and idea that they could find a way to not win a Super Bowl this year is crazy. I mean, they got they have a, they have a new reason every year. There was an the injury, main reason, there was a drop pick, there was this, there was that. It was Jimmy's fault. I think the quarterback. Sorry. I mean, I, not to blame. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm I'm hardwired in here. It might be you might be a little laggy today. Yeah, but yeah, it's probably me. But I, all I would say is that the, I think the quarterback. I think the quarterback has all, had a lot to do with why the 49ers haven't won the Super Bowl to this point. And I think now they got the right quarterback, and we're going to see if they can get it done. They're they're in the driver's seat as of this minute. They're the best team in the NFC, the number one seed, and all the other teams that seem to be in the running for this thing seem to have some major flaws. And as we go, the, these other teams' major flaws get even more major. So this is looking very, very good for the 49ers. But I think it has a lot to do with the fact they haven't had a quarterback. And you have to win in this league. you got to have a quarterback, and they haven't had that guy. Yeah, I guess all I'm saying is we expect the Niners to win the Super Bowl. We expect Brock Purdy to win the MVP. He's like two months away from getting all the credit in the world. Be patient. Right. Be patient. Also, who? where are these Brock Purdy skeptics? I, I thought I was the last one. They don't exist anymore. We all saw what he did yesterday. He's great. He's really, 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 really ridiculously good. Got it. I don't think there are Brock Purdy skeptics anymore. And yeah, we all recognize that Kyle contributes and he's really good and the weapons contribute and they're really good. But we all see what Brock does. No one's looking at Brock being like, mm, he's a he's a glorified Nick Mullins. Like, no, he's really good. Now, would he be an MVP candidate on every team? Probably not. But I mean, you could say that about most quarterbacks. Like Patrick Mahomes is kind of struggling on the Chiefs right now. And he's not bad. In fact, he's the greatest. He matters. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, look at look at Mahomes right now with you saw a very uncharacteristic Mahomes moment last night, you know, complaining about an offsides call to Josh Allen. He's feeling the frustration. He's feeling the heat. I mean, the Chiefs are supposed to win home games um, against everybody in December. And here it is mid-December and they're not. So, you know, it's it's. Um, you know, I, and I talked about it last night in the post game. I asked the audience, how many quarterbacks in the league, if every quarterback, if every GM in the league called John Lynch and said, we'll give you ours for yours, how many actual quarterbacks would you take for Brock? And I said, Mahomes, Allen, Lamar, Burroughs, or Joe Burrow, Burrow, Lamar, Allen, and Mahomes are the guys that I would absolutely take for Brock. Everybody else, I got to think about it. And I know there are people that are like, what about Hertz? What about Herbert? What about Lawrence? What about Hall of Famers like Rodgers and Russell and CJ Stroud and Stafford? You know, they're all good. Uh, they're all good quarterbacks. But the guys that I know that I would trade tomorrow for uh, Brock for would be Mahomes, Allen, Lamar, and uh, and and Joe Burrow. And even some is that of the people because, that is that because Brock's a good fit on this team? Like you know what you get with him here. Or if you were well, starting, I mean, so if, if you were like, if you were like an expansion franchise and building just sort of like a, a draft board, you would have Brock as your fifth rated quarterback, no, no matter what you had. Well, I mean, it's difficult, right? Because Stroud right. has got a lot of talent and uh, like yeah. Lawrence and Herbert are the physical prototypes. But yeah, based on, on, 
Um, if I was starting my own team, I would want Mahomes and Allen and Lamar and Burrow ahead of Brock and everybody else. I would take Brock over. And I know that's somewhat controversial. Now, some people would say, you know what? I'd rather have Herbert. I'd rather have Lawrence or, or I'd rather have Stroud. And then other people would say, how could you possibly take Purdy over, you know, Hall of Famers like Stafford and, you know, Rogers. And, but I mean, those guys are in their thirties and they, you know, and, and I'm thinking of them in the present. I'm not thinking of the career achievement award. So, um, and I even mentioned you Prescott. Think Brock is he's, objectively a better quarterback than Dak. I think he's better than Dak. I think he throws with That's anticipation ask, better. Yeah. I do. I do think he's better than Dak. Now, granted, we're seeing the Dak that we saw. Um, he was, he's been really, really good for the last month, but the quarterback that we saw turned it over three times in the fourth, in the second half and um showed some flaws true true it's true i'd like to i, I know it, it doesn't matter but i just would like to see Dak, brock on any other team what would brock look like on dallas with mike mccarthy and who's the offensive coordinator over there freaking well, we shotnimer yeah that's anyway, right brian shotnimer anyway 